Hello everyone and welcome back to Firewatch. I am Exorf and today we are going to answer this question. Maybe. Uh, who is listening to us? We have uh, gone into full conspiracy theater... Theater? <laughs> conspiracy theory mode now and hung up all our notes on the walls. Uh, it's all dark in here and uh, creepy. I'm going to check out... Uh, I'm going to call Delilah about the wave receiver. Hopefully maybe be able to turn it off for a bit so we don't have to listen to the beeping. This receiver just picked something up. Like a signal? It's going beep beep. Yeah, yep. what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? <laughs> no! I am getting drunk! <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's a good idea right now. Don't do that! I know, I know. Everything has gone to total shit, but... You gotta live a little. You gotta allow, Hank. No, no, you're right, V. I can't think of any good reason why you wouldn't want your decision-making inhibited right now. My thinking is, I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is, I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Oh, radio off? What does that mean? Is my radio turned off? Okay, I guess. Who's listening to us? Tracking device. Who else are they following? They want it back. Who? Why am I writing these notes down? <laughs> No, too much to lie lying. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of worried about that. July 16, 1989. What the fuck difference did they make? Holy hell, I don't even know where to begin. It's late, past midnight, so I'm going to write down everything that happened today as fast as I can. I went down to the lake and found a clipboard and walkie talkie and. I don't know how to describe this. I don't know what to say other than someone is listening to Delilah and I. I know that sounds crazy, but someone is out there listening to us and attacked me. They're taking notes about our conversation. We think there might be some sort of study going on, like maybe they were giving these jobs not just to look for fires, but to be part of a behavioral study or something. Uh, we were giving these jobs. Uh, fuck, I, I know this all sounds insane. It is insane. I don't know how to explain any of this. Delilah definitely heard someone on our walkie-talkies too. It wasn't just me. I'm rambling here. She heard someone too. I tried calling her a couple of times tonight, but we don't want to talk about uh, talk on these anymore. I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, so that was for like a while back now. It's not an up-to-date note. Uh, yeah, this is all just notes that I that are already read. Alright, guess we're heading out to like, turn on this light. <laughs> not that I not that I know what purpose it would serve, but since we're going out anyway, but we are going out. Keep this place safe, okay, forest burns. Alright, so let's see what the general direction for this thing is. So southwest, then. That is in the uh, direction of Cottonwood Creek, maybe? Maybe the medicine wheel? Maybe we should head through the medicine wheel first and then see. Could be Fire Mile Creek as well. Yeah. First of all, to the medicine wheel and we'll take it from there. So I don't know, I 
Guess that's not... That's still... Uh, the... What do you call it? The Flapjack fire? So, the... I mean, I guess that's another fire. That's the side fire. Shit. It probably isn't too good for us. Oh, well, maybe it's actually closer than I think it is. Sure. Feels like it's going quicker and quicker. It's still southwest though. Oh. Yeah, let's actually head over there instead. I think we're coming upon something. Okay, there's definitely something in there. Oh, <laughs> uh, strange backpack. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah. Alarm box. Huh. Oh. <laughs> so what that key is saying? Four five two. K four five two. Oh man. D, I I found some sort of supply bag. Light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. <laughs> Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. What? And it's not you? It is not me. It's for spurns. I'm going. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, uh, I'm like right there. I can see it. Oh, ah! I mean, there's no way you can get down here. Uh, what the fuck? No one here. Oh. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Oh. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. Yeah, sure. Let's just do that. Okay. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Uh. Hey, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my God, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Jesus. Or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. 
Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Oh. Uh, yeah, we'll... Just stick together. We just, we have to stick together. Okay, keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of... I'm kind of starting to trust Delilah. Even though that fucking... I, I'm, I have a very hard time letting that uh, that radio message go. But I mean, she seems to really be freaking out right now. There's a lot of smoke here. Is that all from the flapjack fire? Or... <laughs> Huh. Well, for now I'm actually just gonna... I'm just gonna trust Delilah on this. At least until we find clues that... Uh, that points us in a different direction. That uh, her reaction last night was kind of... kind of freaking me out, but then again Apparently, I am a level 9 susceptible person. <laughs> so, <laughs> you never know. Maybe she's just fooling me really easily. Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to be able to look out. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. Now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. You know... We're in the same boat. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just... They're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Hmm. I have my doubts as well, but... I guess she's right. But... I mean, I heard her voice. She just heard that someone calling themselves Henry uh, had made made that call. I heard her voice talking about someone not knowing something. And it sounded like she was talking about me. Huh. Alright, let's see what's in this creepy cave. <laughs> I have a fairly pointless flashlight that I can use if it. What the hell? Jesus, this is a big cave. Yeah. Yes, yes, maybe I can get out through here. What? I want to get out of the cave? I'm very confused now. Use Pulaski. Yeah, I guess I can. I thought I wanted to get even further in. Uh, so I can drop down here then, I guess. Long, steep drop. No, I guess not. But, I mean, it's not like this was a cave-in or anything. No. Alright. Yeah, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was at first. <laughs> that looks like it's going to break under my weight when I jump. Great, let's do this. Okay. Freezing in here. Can I even contact the light lab from here? I guess maybe I was just talking to myself. Well, 
A shield? Oh man, is that like the good winds choose or something like that? I don't suppose I can actually. No, I can never figure out where I am on the on the map from down here. All right. Okay, went up there, so no. I don't know. Went inside, went a bit to the right, and then a bit back up. No, I have absolutely no idea. This just keeps going, doesn't it? Huh. Do wonder where I am right now. No, oh, this is a way out, I guess. Am I going to end up like inside of the fire? Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. What? You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate oh. behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No. Th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Oh, well, okay. sound dangerous. I guess I missed that. <laughs> and I missed that someone close to the gate behind me, so... <laughs> Alright, so... This is a telephone line. Uh, it goes up there. Let's see where we're pointing. It should go south, I guess. Somewhere, so... South... I guess it's more this way, then. If it's even possible to go this way. No. Alright. Hmm. I'm not sure where I am. There's some water here and... Maybe I've never been here. I guess I haven't. Or I am just walking in the wrong direction. Oh, maybe this is the way. Yeah, here we are. Oh! Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Oh? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. <laughs> Like when I was living here, or after he disappeared? Hmm. Oh, well, what do we call in about first? <laughs> so much stuff here. I like the Richard Sturgeon book. Five degrees north. How many of these are, these are there? <laughs> Neil Black has just exposed the largest underground gambling racket in the nation's history. With a major basking in the glory, it's only when consequences come knocking is Neil Black called on again. Neil Black is a lot of things, but a fall guy isn't one of them. Mm -hmm, beat the odds when the most dangerous of her mob have his number. And in the a high risk sting goes wrong, it's only a matter of time before the powers that be do what they always do. Put it all on black. I do like that uh, <laughs> casino uh, casino pun thing. Uh, no uh, funky thing done with the uh, with the pistols on this cover. <laughs> That's like the only books that are read out here in the wilderness. Maybe it's a local Shoshone author. Oh, black band. I don't suppose that's actually. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband, which gives him superpowers. Well, that's. 
fucking dark. Okay. A bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. God. Yeah, that's that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. So yeah, Black Band. I don't suppose that has anything to do with Neil Black. Go ahead, kill my family. It only makes me stronger. Yeah, that sounds a bit fucked up. Uh, yeah, I guess that's cool. Oh, can I keep that, by the way? Well, I lost it. <laughs> God damn it. I keep losing these things. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. Mm. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Hmm. Hmm. Handmade signs. Oh, 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 I definitely wanted to check out what's underneath there. The Goodwin's family quest. It's a lookout, a plane, a sword. My stupid CS, GS. Hmm. Goodwin? Something? Hmm. Yeah, there's stuff on there. That seems important. I'm gonna check out the other stuff first. an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> Sweet. So, oh, okay. I guess it's actually it's supposed to be like sports guy on there and he's turned one of the like basket players into Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Brian Goodwin. The Draculords? Gladius Silva. Gladius Silva. Hmm. Can't, uh, alright, I'm gonna keep that. Talking meteors. How ham radio waves can use meteors to talk to people far away. What if I told you that you could use meteor in your our atmosphere to talk to people far away? You would probably think I was a liar, but you would be wrong. Meteors, the alien rocks that come to our planet from outer space, can be used to bounce ham radio waves off of uh, and uh, let you use your radio much better than normal. Right now you are thinking, okay Brian, this sounds like a movie like Flight of the Navigator, but it's not real. But you are wrong. It is real. It is science. It is possible because of meteor scatter communications. My science fair project proves that meteor scatter communication is real. But what is it? MCS is our radio propagation mode that utilizes the ionized trails of meteors within our atmospheres. A meteor upon their atmospheric entry can create a dense path of ionized particles that the ham radio operator can use to establish brief communication path between operators to up to 1,500 miles away. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Are these your own words, Brian? Oh, it doesn't sound like it, does it? 
I'm going to test this by having a small chat with a friend that my dad made in the army who lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 1000 miles away from my house. We are going to try to talk at a regular time, but my hypothesis is that uh, that won't work and we will have to wait for a meteor shower so we can establish a communication. Hmm. That's some advanced stuff. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. <laughs> what, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um... Now that I think about it... Because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. <laughs> Sorry, boss. Oh. Huh. So he lost his backpack, I guess. Counterweight, but it has like a like a plan on how to <laughs> to get the backpack. So he just got in his rope and the camera. Poor guy. Rope sorrow. Oh. Borrow maybe. <laughs> this says borrow. Uh, beside tools, so, alright. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I was worried that he had lost it in some accident or something, but I guess he didn't. Uh, so we're actually gonna check out these last few items in the next episode. So until then, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time on Firewatch. Bye bye!